in federal Argentina is facing retaliation, with thousands marching against the government in the city of Rio Gallegos, former President Nestor Kirchner's hometown. Kirchner's campaign advertisements use official, gov use official <laughs> advertising for, to promote himself, rather than give useful information to the citizens. The amount of the government's money Kirchner spent on his personal advertisements exceeded the country's inflation rates by far, increasing the national debt. Although there are no clear rules as to what is considered official government advertising, people were angered anyway, causing less negative media coverage towards Kirchner. As a result, he lost the election to wife Cristina Fernandez. A former police commander from our homeland, hundreds of human rights abuse, killed himself on television to escape arrest. Mario Ferreira was 63 years old when he pulled his gun from his boot and shot himself in the head on Friday as police came to to arrest him because he kidnapped, <laughs> tortured, and killed rebels during Argentina's 1976-1983 dictatorship. A television crew that had just interviewed him witnessed the suicide. Police took him to the hospital, but he didn't make it. The Cronica TV network broadcasted the interview and its bloody denouement but it was barred by a judge from being seen ever again. Mr. Ferreira was accused of kidnapping, torturing, and killing rebels at a secret detention center in Tocumán. Human rights groups say that around 30,000 people were killed during the rebellion war. Relatives say that the suicide was a pact of secrecy to protect those that had helped him perform this terrible act. Another explanation was that he did not want to go to jail! In interviews the week before suicide, he said he'd take a drastic decision rather than surrender to the police. His widow, Maria Ferreira, accused the authorities of inventing crimes against her husband. He has left me documents to demonstrate his innocence, she told the authorities. Ferreira, who regularly wore a cowboy hat and a black shirt, had long <laughs> been a controversial controversial figure. After democ democracy was restored, he remained a police chief and was concerned as a harasser of Peronist politicians. This wasn't his first brush with the law. In 1993, he was convicted of murdering three murder suspects. <laughs> Now here we are in the Andes Mountains, fighting for our freedom. 
Thank you, Jose, and good luck. Anything for you, mamacita. I'm now in the studio with Daniel Pasarea, all-star football player of Argentina. So, Daniel, let's get this started on a good note. How old are you? I was born in 1953, pretty lady. Let's do the math. <laughs> um, okay, Mr. Pasarea. Why did they call you the Grand Capitan on your old soccer team? Well, because of my leadership, passion, and organization. Wonderful. What position do you play? Defense. <laughs> your height is often described as average. How tall are you? I just so happen to be 1.73 meters tall. Cool. So what happened with the World Cup of 1978? I was the first Argentina player to hold the cup. Why did you miss the 1986 World Cup? I had a case of enterocolitis. It was horrible. As replaced by Jose Luis Brown that year. When coaching the Argentina team, what was one of your crazy rules that I've heard of? No long hair, no earrings. Oh boy! When did you play for Italy? From 1983 to 1988. What are all the clubs you've been a part of? Argentinos Juniors, Sarmiento, River Plate, Florentina, and Inter Milan. <laughs> Thanks so much for your time, Mr. Casarea. I hope, I mean, I look forward to seeing you in the future. Thank you so much for your publicity, buddy, and heart. Uno. Did something. Yeah. <laughs> One. Oh no. Oh no. Ow. <laughs> Taco region. It's described <laughs> by extreme. <laughs> Jose. Jose. Luis Brown. Jose. <laughs> <Jose>. Um. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> Death, tortured and killed people. On charges arising from the dis oh Chris Brown that year. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay, Miss. <laughs> Most men. When he pulled a gun from his boot and shot himself in the head <laughs> on Friday at Place Kendrick House. Prevailing westerly winds. From the